it'll take you along and show you our crazy after school schedule. Be careful, don't get your finger. Wow, I think you're gonna be a chef one day. I am all. Welcome back to Not Enough Nelsons. As you know, I have a bunch of kids, nine of which are in school, and today is our first day of school after school routine. Yes, I am still dressed the same way I was dressed when you left me on my morning routine right here, but there's a reason, people, okay? As soon as I got done filming, a couple of my kids called and needed me to go to the school, change a couple classes around because it was just too stressful or different things, different reasons why. For instance, Navy didn't even have cheerleading as one of her classes. And they, anyway, it was a whole thing. So understandably, they had a ton of people there and I had to wait in line forever and ever. And so I literally just got done just in time to pick up Ledger. Oh man. Hopefully I can like shower and get ready for the day in between picking up Ledger and the rest of the kids coming home. But I will take you along and show you our crazy after school schedule. So here we go. We picked up little Ledger. Ledger, say hi. hi. How was your first day of school? Was it so good? What did you learn? Stuff? What kind of stuff? A lot. A lot of stuff? I've been there for two minutes. Oh yeah, you've been there for three hours. Did it feel like three hours? Like 10 hours. Like 10 hours. Well, you were there for a few hours and then it was time for mommy to pick you up, huh? Mm -hmm. So did you learn how to write your name at all? They said you did really good, so you must have sat on the rug when she asked you. Yeah, and you must have did all the things she told you to do because she said you did so good. That was a good job. Ledger is eating his chocolate snack. He wanted his water in what kind of cup did you call this? Fancy. Fancy cup. It's got a fancy ice cube in it too. Good stuff. I like your little folder. So cute. You're a full-fledged kindergarten. Here has a trick he wants to show you. Let's see. Let's see your trick. What are you gonna do? I'm confused at what this trick is. I'm gonna touch this and then this. Oh, you're gonna turn this into this? You ready? Three, two, one. How did you do that? That was amazing. Good job. I had a great day. I'm so glad. Now All right. Now get the bazinga. Oh, now we gotta go find bazinga. Yes. My mom said I can play this So you gotta go find Bazinga. Bazinga, where are you? Guys, he's gonna go up and play and I'm gonna go get ready for the day. Then I need to stock the salad bar, stock the snack bar, make sure all the jurisdictions have the right names on them. I got a lot of work to do, so let's go. Well, so much to do, so little time. Okay, I am like literally running late. I cannot get my feet underneath me today. I don't know what the deal is. I'm supposed to be there literally to pick the kids up, but intermediate schoolers in like 15 minutes, and I look like this. So, ah! Just gonna throw on some lip and call it good. You know, this just goes to show, everything doesn't always go perfect. Even if you plan perfectly, like, you know, how many practice days have I had of the first day of school? A lot, like, I don't even know. Like 20, probably 25 or something like that. And still, Today's gets away from you, so I'm gonna hurry and blow dry the hair. Maybe while I'm blow drying, I can finish a little bit of makeup. Double duty, and I just gotta run. The problem is, I haven't even like prepped a salad bar. I cleaned the salad bar and got it ready, but I haven't prepped it yet. So maybe what I'll do is when I get the intermediate schoolers, have them kind of help me prep everything. I like them to come home so like everything's all organized and they're excited and like, you know, the salad bar is all done and their snack station's all done. Also, don't mind my voice. I'm a little bit hoarse because I think I have an allergy to the cow. Sadly. All blow dried. Gonna throw up a few curls in here and then I gotta get going. I literally have seven minutes to get there and I do not want to be late on the first day picking them up. You know I can't be late on the first day. So, hoping I can knock this out quick. I don't know why, but my hair's not really feeling it today. It says, listen lady, you're being too hectic today. I'll just join in with your hecticness and not be easy. It's exactly what your hair does, isn't it like that? On the days that you don't need your hair to go good, it's like, goes great. And the days that you just really wish it would just fall into place, it never does. I have what's called a tapa. So I will add my tapa to my hair and then it doesn't really matter if I'm having a bad hair day. All right, got that done. Hopefully these front pieces are okay. Introducing the tapa. I call her Sally. Just kidding. I've never called my tapa Sally in my life. So comb out Sally and plop her on your head. 
and go pick up your kiddos. Looking like a million bucks. All right, look how fast that is, people. Look, I even have time to add my earrings. And maybe even a little bit of perfume. Heck, right. who knew mom likes to wear perfume? All right, let's go get the kids. Hey guys, before I go pick up the kids, I have to tell you about a new water bottle I found. I know that I already got the kids water bottles for back to school, but let's just say that Ledger's homework and his water bottle did not mix well today, and so let me tell you a little bit about Bottle Bottle. Oh, and by the way, don't mind the backyard. We're a little bit under construction. I'll update you on that soon. And thank you, Bottle Bottle, for sponsoring this portion of my video. So I have found with my 10 kids going to school that it is crucial that the water bottle will keep their water super cold all day, but also does not spill, has a secure lid that can easily tie in for my little ones. Let me show you some of the features of these water bottles. You're literally never gonna believe how cool this is. So one of the bottle options is called Hydro X. It has a secret compartment at the bottom. Let me show you this. So at the bottom, I screw this off, and there's this little compartment. I think this is like genius because a lot of times we have to take like medications or vitamins or pills or just a little picking up of a couple little, you know, MMs or Skittles in here. I love that. So that just goes in there, screws in the bottom of the bottle, and then this top. This is the part I love. This is super easy for a little ledger. You just pop that up and just pop it back down. Super easy for him not to spill. So the kind that I actually am going to do for ledger and for Beckham so that they do not forget is this. This one, I think that I got a few different colors of this for options, but look how nice. So this has just the pop out and the zip where you put down. This style is called Magic Cube. These guys right here, they have both options, the pop up, but also look at this for like the major chug of the drink, you know, like when you're like working out hard, Miss Delaney June, and at a soccer game and you can just chug down a bunch of nice cold water. Let me show you all of the fun colors and sizes. We've got pink. This one's so cute, I love the color pink. This one matches our backpack really, really well. It's got that little purple addition at the top. This is the perfect size for little buddies. And then we got this green one, purple, matches our backpack, perfect. Orange, and then how cute are these? This reminds me of Elsie. Does this remind you of Elsie? It reminds me of Elsie. As you can tell, you can definitely find a color that matches your style. They are so so cute. All right, if you want to check out Bottle Bottle, hit the link in the description. All right, I gotta go get the kids. All right, guys, I am on my way without, well, I have one minute to spare. It's like literally one minute before I'm supposed to pick them up, but that's okay. I'm doing fine. I'll go the speed limit nice and safe to get there just fine. Maybe only, you know, one minute late. I'll be fine. Anyways, I'm gonna bring them home and here's my plan. Like I said, I normally have everything all beautiful and gorgeous. You know what, I'm not giving myself mom guilt. I've done a great job. I had a really great lesson yesterday. You'll have to check out our nighttime routine. I feel like I started everyone off on the right foot. They all, even separately, some of them were like, mom, that was actually a really good lesson. I really like got a lot out of that. So that makes you feel really good as a mom, right? So I'm gonna just kind of build myself up with some good things I've done instead of knocking myself down for things that I didn't quite have picture perfect. And so some good advice for moms out there, especially new moms. Sometimes you put a lot of pressure on yourself. Just don't do it, people. Don't do it. Just do the best you can. That's all you can do. So I've got some fruits and vegetables. They're already sat out, ready for me to cut. So when the girls get home, I'll start cutting those, have them just kind of go to the snack station and get their, a couple snacks from there. And then um, I'll sit down and do like any of their notes I have to sign or any homework that they have. Doubt they have homework for the first day. And then everyone's got their new assignment of their jurisdictions. I'll show you that chart. If you're new to NANFAM, you might not know what that is, but if you are a true NANFAM member, you probably know our jurisdiction chart is kind of our way of tracking like chores, but normally people would refer to as chores. We call it a jurisdiction over an area. So I just put their name, link it with a jurisdiction, and then that is the area that they are over, you know, until it is time to switch for the week. When you're over that area, you get it all beautiful, and then if other people leave things out in your area, it's up to you to like be like, hey, put that away, and if they don't put it away directly, then you can give them a ticket, and if you get three tickets, you are in mom jail. A jail called mom. It's like they are the police over that area, that jurisdiction, right? You're in mom jail, and mom jail is not that bad, honestly. You basically just have to deep clean an area in your own jurisdiction, so like, if you have the kitchen, I might have you choose a few cupboards or whatever, but you help me basically for an hour, kind of more deep cleaning. To be honest, you don't really have a ton of us that have to do, it's only because usually if you get a warning, you just go pick up the thing, right? So it was a good idea at the beginning. And at the beginning, boy, Kennedy and Cassidy and Bridger and Trey and Janie and Journey loved giving each other tickets like it was all the rage every day. Tickets, please. They got a ticket, but then as soon as I was like, well, you gotta give them a warning before you give them a ticket. 
the tickets didn't really need to be because everyone was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. I don't want to be a mom too. So anyway, another good idea. It's worked for us. It literally has worked for me for probably Kennedy's 27th, yeah, like 20 years. So it's worked really well for me. And my kids don't really get paid for their jurisdictions. Being part of a big family, you don't really get paid for doing the normal chores around the house. We have other ways that they can get paid, other things that they can choose to do. And in our family, we do YouTube. And so part of that, I pay my kids. A lot of it just goes to their savings account because I want them to feel really good when they get older that they have a great savings account from you know, the years they spent you know, being on YouTube and YouTube your license. And so I put a ton of it away in savings, but they do get a portion of that for spending and just depending on, you know, if they're in videos. Sometimes my kids don't like to be in videos and I honor that for them too. And so they don't want to be in videos. They're not punished. They just have other ways that they can make money. And so it's all good. Everybody kind of feels like it's fair and, and that kind of thing. So that's kind of how we do YouTube, you know? It's kind of a unique situation. I don't know a lot of families out there that do YouTube, but that's how I do YouTube is I, I pay my kids um, to be in videos and to be just showcasing their life. You know, we film for maybe about six hours a week. And so we film three days a week for a couple hours. And like, I want them to get paid for that time. You know, it's, it's taking time out of their day. We try really hard to make it so it doesn't like, you know, get in the way of anything. Obviously they go to public school, they have cheer, they have sports, they do, you know, church activities and stuff like that. We try really hard not to let it get in the way. And so it can just be like an extra way for them to make money as they grow up and so far the kids as they've grown up all of them have really been grateful that they've had that money in savings and most of them like actually want to go on with YouTube and things like that we have had one as you know Janie she has decided that that's not one of her things that she wants to do which is great it's fine like everybody has their own kind of way they want to show up in the world right and that's not Janie's way Janie has other ways that she's going to show up and have an impact on the world and I just love her to pieces and so we honor that for her so you don't see her in many videos at all if any yeah we just kind of honor her privacy and so that's fine too and I have a hunch that maybe Delaney might be the same way then there's people like Cass who absolutely love it and I can see Presley and Paisley so it's kind of interesting everybody's personalities are different I'm just trying to honor kind of everybody's different take on things and so when you don't see Delaney in a video just know it's because she just wasn't feeling it that day and I, I try to honor what they want to do so all right I am here to pick up speaking of her Delaney and Presley and Elsie have you picked up Ledger already yes did he love his first day he did I need to make sure he gets a good drink water charm Oh, Ledger's root beer. He dumped it in there. That's where it went. Mystery solved. forgot the ranch, people. You can't forget the ranch. One of the yummiest parts of the salad bar. All right, so, so far, so good. I have exactly half of them home. They're doing their jurisdiction, and yeah, I think that this is gonna be a pretty easy peasy day. Nice that Benji started already with the dinner, and today we don't have soccer, today we don't have cheer, so it's gonna be a great Monday night. We actually will have family night. I don't know if you guys do that at your house, but we do what's called a family night on Monday night. Um, again, I've done that for probably, it's been like 25 years, 26 years. And basically what it is, is that night we all stay home 
together. It just is a night that we don't plan other events, we don't plan other things, and we just either play games. Sometimes we'll have like a life lesson that we can talk about. Sometimes we work on like goals and things like that, but it's just a fun family night. We usually have someone in charge of like dessert and just make it a really fun night. So we're gonna have that tonight. It's gonna be super fun. So I can't wait to have the older kids get home and tell me how their day was. I'm really stressed about Luke and hoping that his day went well. He was not having it this morning, people. He was just like super stressed about school and just, I don't know, sometimes kids are so excited, but then like they psych themselves out, you know? And then other times they just never can find the excitement. They just are just, I don't know, school's just hard. So anyway, well hopefully, hopefully they had fun. If you haven't, you might want to watch the morning routine. It was rough. Mama, I got out my two snails. Hey look, when else I have to out. Give me little chips. My chips, dude. Sorry. Right. It's okay. You can keep it. Okay. Where are you going? I was like for somebody else. No, 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 no. Don't. Oh, never mind. Snails. No. Don't feed that to the snails, bud. Ah. Oh, you do not. Don't you do not. What have you done? This is no time to play the blame game. Basically. Yeah, boys. Look at this. So I put my water bottle in Mojo's cup holder and I didn't realize that he put root beer in there. And then I looked up my water bottle, going to drink it, spill it. Speaking of ledger, here he is. <laughs> He's a goober! I know I bought a light to light this up because this one stopped working. Can you go find it? It would be in an Amazon box. Yep. Can you go look for it? All right, I'm gonna send Elsie to go find it. A few minutes later. All right, we looked on Amazon and my light doesn't come till tomorrow. So we're just gonna have to go with a dark salad bar. All of the little extras are just not happening today. Whoa, what in the Scooby Riz toilet? What in the Scooby Riz toilet? What in the Scooby Riz toilet? What now? What is that supposed to be? Yep. Are these even really words, or are my kids just like pranking? Wait, isn't that so? But what does it talk about a toilet for? Give it a toilet. It's a guy's head sticking out of the toilet. Okay, mom, how much you want to bet? Skibbity is not a real word. You want to hear the Skibbity toilet song? All right, they're giving me proof because I don't believe it. Oh, this one's better. Skibbity toilet. Skibbity toilet. Skibbity skibbity toilet. Sigma Ledger. Ah, Sigma! Yes. Wait, you can't take a snack break. It's a top half. It's not allowed. I totally oh, never do that. Oh yeah, is that how some people cut? Yes. Here, let me help you help out. A baby knife. I'll give you a knife you can help out with. Come here. I can show you how you do it. Perfect. I'll show you how to do it. All right, come here. I'll show you where to do it. Yeah. Pieces. Oh, be careful. Don't get your finger. Wow, I think you're gonna be a chef one day. Mom, can I have it? No. This one cuts best if you go like this. Then yeah, I can that. have a... Yeah. yeah. Curly, it's 152, and I have an appointment at three for my orthodontist. I might get my bottom back today, they don't yeah. know, because they don't want me to have extra pain. So because Delaney missed the normal soccer tryouts because she had hurt her foot, she's trying out for a different team now. So hopefully she will make it. I'm sure she will. Are you guys robbing the bank? Are we robbing the bank? I'm going to rob your bank. I don't have a bank. All right, guys. Salad bar is now ready. No mom guilt. Okay. Oh, I'm done, mom. That's it. Now time. Scooby Rose toilet. Scooby Rose toilet. Did you understand any of that? All right. Do you want me to sign it? 
discuss the disclosure together and then sign on the line provided. Return the sign page to me as soon as possible. Your student should keep Siri? the disclosure Is that you? <laughs> in their binder for future reference. This is just telling you. You like, sounded like Siri there for a second. I, it's because the cat, the cat made my nose stuffy oh. and now my voice what sounds What is a skibbity ring? You don't need to read mine. How many times am I gonna have to hear those words? I just switched to What is this for? What is this for? Just to say that you understand. Stupid you And you're gonna be a good kid. No, I don't understand. No, mom. I saw a whole side show. I'm so confused. Hey Benji, will you help that situation over there? All right. Benji's here, so two set of hands will help. Alright. Would you like me to present my job or career? Would you like dad to present his job or career? You come to my school and present your career. That was I had a good idea. What's that make everybody? Oh, that's looking yummy. Yeah. That's a lot of orange juice. I'll maybe present to your school about my career. Should I say that my career is a YouTuber or should I say that my career is a home designer? Home designer, maybe too. And this is I'll for science? Okay. There you go. Now I'm done. All right, Presley is now giving me her exposure. All right. I think that was Presley. All right. This is the only one you got? The only class that gave you a disclosure? What's a disclosure? It's just like a paper they give you like this. They, usually usually they make you sign the back. This is the only teacher you one. Okay. Okay. All right. Now it is time to show these three what their jurisdictions are for the week. Jurisdiction chart, and we have a problem in Houston. Houston, we have a problem. Elsie's name is missing on the jurisdiction. Hey, that chart. wasn't me, it was probably like Pledge or something. Probably. Oh, I highly doubt that Elsie took her name off. So we're missing Elsie. Elsie, let's just say that you have the laundry and the living room. The laundry job. room? The laundry room. It's not that hard. It's just a matter <laughs> of sweeping it. Beckham has dishes, so that's gonna be a rough one. Presley, what do you have? Choose hangouts. You have the hangouts. All right, are you guys ready? Jurisdiction on three. One, two, three, jurisdictions! Oh. Woohoo! Go jurisdictions! Oh, you can try it. I can make one for you. Is that good? He's like. That actually tastes really good. I'm gonna make some for you. Ooh. That actually tastes really good. All right, you try some. He just. No, I get it. Come on, Mom. Mom, I'm gonna make some for Dad now. Dad has soccer today, and oh. so he's getting an early start on dinner because he is the best at cheesy potatoes. So, Dad's doing it. And also, he's the only one who knows how to make them. It's his mom's recipe, and he's really okay. good at it. So, why is it if it ain't broken, right? I have him do it every time. So. It's like all of the nice, yummy liquid that goes in here to make the cheesy potato. You don't want to what? Look at the onions. What do they do? They he said mean? he's not going to look at the onion because he doesn't want to cry. Onions mean? Do they make you feel sad? They're like they're putting like, they put water in my eyes. They put water in your eyes? Why would they do that? That's very nice. Tiny. He's so cute. So do you like onions? Do you not like onions? Do you like onions? Do you not like onions? Wow, that is a strong onion. I usually cut it so that the root side doesn't get cut and it doesn't bother me, but whew, it's making me cry. All right, I'm opening the freezer now. Getting rid of my tears. Is that what you do? Yep, down in the freezer. This feels perfectly normal. I know it looks weird, but it works. All right, tear free! All right, so this is not fattening at all. Couple of cubes of butter, a couple of cups of sour cream, cheese. All I know is it tastes delicious. We don't count calories or care for your time. We just enjoy a nice dinner, all right? I got you. No guilt, I decided today. No more guilt, not about what you eat, not about being a mom. Just no more guilt. 
I mean, of course you need to eat healthy oh, for the most part. But you can handle a little bit of a heavy potato. Dad, I know them look. I can get some. No, Dad, Dad, I can get the flowers for you. Oh, oh yeah, you're gonna go get the flowers for me? Yeah, I like flowers. Okay, you go get the flowers. Oh, well, will, they, will they make the potato, the potatoes purple, or is that okay? I like them purple. Me too. Oh, that looks yummy. All right, you can help me. Okay. I'm gonna get sugar. Okay, we're gonna get this. Yeah, get it out there. Flowers like sugar. Flowers sugar, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like let's put this one in there. Oh, because he got icy, icy. Ledger added the flowers already. So dad had to just add sugar, sugar. get it? Oh, I get it. Nobody followed this recipe online. Okay, so Elsie just ran upstairs because she has an orthodontist appointment. At three, I saw that At text three, come through. And so she's gonna go change her clothes because she has all that mess all over the front of her chair. Dad, you need sugar, right? Cause we don't have a lot of sugar. Uh-huh. Well, and the like, sugar's on leaves. So you already put sugar in there. Sometimes leaves are poisonous, Ledger, so we don't really ever eat leaves, okay? So we always have to ask mom before we eat a leaf, okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Hey, mom, just I just make it ten times better. Yeah. And, and that would see. Yeah. We can make the sun come out. Let us lose ourselves in a fairy tale. Who can say what's wrong or right? We're the only ones who can do Right, last thing's a little bit of... Healthy cheese on top. Now you see why I don't try to do it. This right. is like a masterpiece. This is simply extraordinary. Each shred of cheese has been placed with such care, such passion. I wish I could have seen Benji's cheesy potatoes long ago. Truly a life-altering experience. And it tastes as good right. as it Cause looks, cause you, people. You, which one do you want to put in? This one. You get credit. Hey, Carla, I'm going to I'm going to Love you. All right. Can the timer set. Can I'll be done in an set. hour and 40 minutes. All right. Timer set. I need to show you something. Let your listen to me. This is the floor. This is where our feet go, right? This is the counter. This is not where feet go. What goes here? Food or what else? Stuff, dishes, but not feet. All right, the older kids are gonna get home really soon. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of prep the chicken. These potatoes take, like I said, like an hour and 40 minutes or so. The chicken takes about an hour, but I think I'm gonna get out the ingredients and kind of start prepping as kids get home. And yeah, just kind of keep everything flowing, people. I have to keep it. Gotta keep it. I gotta get it. Dad, I'm just gonna get the thing. Dad, you got today, it? can you do something? Can you go to soccer here? I can't. I gotta go to high school and I just gotta print something off. Please, Dad. That pretty please. That please. That please. Dad, you never bring me that much time. You know that much. I try. I try to always bring you with me. You know that you always go with me when I can. Because guess what? Why? Because we're what? Best buddies. Best buddies, huh? Oh. What did you do? What did you do? In the bath. You gave the cat a bath? I don't think cats like the bath. But I It does need a bath, but only by a groomer. Not by us. Because I thought that he would be angry and scratch. Maybe I can give him a bath, but you need to wait for mommy to give animals baths, okay? You know what though? If you don't wait for mommy to give animals baths, you might hurt them on accident. Who do you need to have help you give animals baths? Mama. I'm just yes. trying to take care of him. I know. Like Yeah, and then this other teacher's walking out. He has a ruler in his hand. He's walking. He's like, "That's a short human being." How could you say that? That was terrible. And of course, it was in the math class. There's nothing wrong with being a short human. It was just weird because you literally was beautiful short human. So even adults sometimes need to learn some manners. So you don't call people short. Here's a manner. You just shouldn't remark on anybody's body. It's just not nice. 
Like you can't be like, yeah. you're so tall, you're so short, you're so skinny, you're fat. Obviously not, you're fat. But you know what, when I was little, I like had a hard time putting on weight and people used to say, you're so skinny, it makes me sick. And it would make me so sad. I mean, I know normally like it would be a bad thing yeah. to be called skinny, but it made me feel really sad. Yeah. So just don't remark on people's body. Just It's fine because everybody said I was slaying a man with it and now I should wear red, so. Those kind of compliments are good. Just don't comment yeah. on. On things that I cannot change. Yes. <laughs> I can't change it. <laughs> Let's go cry over some carrots. I have got a fully stocked salad bar over here ready for your enjoyment. I got stopped by one of the moms at the high school, yeah. dropping off her kid, yeah. and said, I just barely bought my daughter one of these backpacks, no and was like, hey, I love your backpack, and I was like, oh really, and they're like, I bought the whole set. Oh. Like the, like, I was like the whole period thing. Yeah, and I was like, oh, thank you. And everybody was asking where I got it from, and I was like, hey, shop 16, if you want this, go shop there. Yes, shop, it's not enough now, pretty soon, it'll be on shop 16. Very free. What's it made out of them? I don't know, man. That doesn't taste good. Oh, that's the whole point of cream cheese. Cream cheese. Now this is where it's at. Immaculate. Want to? Oh, you like it? I didn't know dogs like bell peppers. Yummy. Yeah. Oh, you didn't eat it. I lied. Well, guess what I got called today? I walked through the door. I was asking a teacher something, and he walks past me. Big yardstick ruler and goes, that's a short human being in front of the class. Oh, so I just want a milk. You got the glow of the sunset. You got the rush of the ocean wave. It was amazing. Got to sit in the office for like a little bit. Yeah, that's why he waited for me because we went and changed some of the classes. There wasn't very much left to do, so I just went. By the time you're done doing your classes, you had a few classes. Yes. So it was all right? Is your friend and some of your classes your friends? Good. So it wasn't as awful as you pretended to be. Yeah, you are. Your edit. Oh, I thought you were So, Luke, are you going to be listening to me in the morning when you're getting ready? Will you listen to last I still will cry every morning. What? You're not crying every morning. Guys, it wasn't that bad until my mom came. Like, just kidding, she made it all better. They put me in the most randomest classes. Astronomy? See, eat astronomy? Astronomy. What if I ever wanted to take star class? Well, I'm taking plant soil science. Plant soil science. More helpful than astronomy. Guys, like, teach me how to do my taxes or something. I have a beautiful video. It has a sharp beauty all itself. Which one? Hey, I didn't know you're saying. Oh, no, I'm just What is that? All right, I have gathered you all here today, teenagers of mine, to present the jurisdiction chart. If you have forgotten from last year, because I know summer is a little different, we have jurisdictions, and you are in charge of one of them. Who, me? Maybe. You have halls and traps. <gasps> uh, and stairs. You have mudroom and stairs. Literally the easiest job. And plants. Make sure all the plants are watered out in the front porch. Plants. Sadie, you have theater and YouTube room. Yeah, go clean that. Like, and it's Luke, long. you have kitchen. Oh, Hi, Mom. All right. Hi, Mom. Back home. Oh, How is school? How are you getting my? I guess you go get some of our jurisdictions. Did you give Let's everyone a high five? Bye. Come here. Let me show you. We got our snacks all stocked for you. Come here. Let me show you. We got this one all stocked. We got this one all stocked. And then guess what else? Yo, 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 I'm trying to do my jurisdiction. This is my jurisdiction. This is the best part of the whole thing. We also have the salads are all stocked for you. And ranch for dipping. Okay, here we go. 
you wash your hands with soap? Hey! Wash your hands with soap. All right, I'll keep washing his hands. I'm gonna check on the potatoes. Ooh! They are looking yummy. They're about ready. I better start the chicken. So we have another 26 minutes. First, can I walk? Can I walk? Guys, plants done, mudroom done, and stairs done, and now I'm all done with your stations. All right, change of plans. I was gonna do chicken, but it seems like I've ran out, and I'm just rolling with the punches today, people. So I'm asking Lily, Lily, can you go grab me like some steaks? Yeah. From the market, and then I can just free whip up some steaks. Guys, steak. yeah. you don't all right. Want. Good luck. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Guys, what? I'm taking your thing, but I'll give it right back. Beyblade, let it rip. You're gonna have cocoa pebbles for your after school snack. Mom, well, you should just yeah. let Lily have an apple. Did you get more than you wanted? Or do you think you can eat that much? Eat it. We're having dinner soon, you know you. In like four hours. Well, in like half hour. Nice. Yes. That's plenty. Good job. Guys, Cheers. I added to stay till 3.30 mm -hmm. and go with my friend. Back, yeah. but Ledger, he gets out at 12 this week. Yes, just for this week. And then after, you'll have Ledger with you, huh? Yeah! Woo -woo. All yeah! Right. All right, Elsie is back! Come on over here, I want to see what color that you got for your braces. So, basically, I'm gonna get my braces off back, come on. Uh -huh. Then I'm getting them back on, and I'm getting my bottom braces on with them. All right, I gotta oh. see these teeth. You're killing me, oh. I know they, they just, I gotta see, I'm so anxious. Ooh, nice. Purple light purple and light pink, people. Yes. So um, I'll get these braces off like next year. Why? Wait, why do you get them off? Because I have to get a second set. So then I have top braces and bottom braces too. So you get to take them off for a while? Yeah, yeah like next. And then get them all back on? Yeah. What the heck? Because they want my teeth to like, I don't know, take a break of braces. Or something. Wow, I should have went to today's appointment. It sounds eventful, but there was a lot of information given. My next appointment I already got it. You sent it to you. Yeah, I got it. You gotta put it on time tree though. Awesome. Well, that's fantastic. Um, also you guys, I changed into something cozy to do my jurisdictions, so that's why I'm in different. All right, you guys, all done. You know what you gotta do. Get wild. You ain't gotta play it cool. Get wild. Take a rocket to the moon. Get wild. Get wild. Turn up and down. They keep coming, coming back. They keep coming, coming back. All right, guys, I guess that's it. Wasn't too hard, and it wasn't that dirty. All right, guys, the potatoes are done. So I'm taking them out. Look at how yummy these puppies look. So yummy, look at that. Mm. It's delicious, thank you, chef. Guys, I got my mom a cake because now all the kids are out of the house, now she can have her own fun and not wow. have to worry about the kids. Wow. So now we're gonna open it, we're gonna sing her happy school. Happy mother. back to school mothers. Mother. Time.
lot of it. All right, mom, you can finish doing this. I'm gonna go cut the steaks, but guys, a tip, eat salt with your watermelon. Okay, I have salt on here. Now you can try to cut like actual steaks. This is a bad knife though for it. Each flavor was totally unique. All right, guys, last minute decision made by me while I was at Walmart. I decided I'm gonna make some street corn. I don't know why that came to my mind, but I was like, I'm in the mood for some street corn, so therefore I'm making some street corn for dinner. All right, Mr. B did some swimming. Guess what? He had new jurisdiction to seek. And yours is the? Dishes. Dishes! You wanna come start some dishes? Because this is forever. Uh -huh. And there will be no surrender. Yeah. You know that this right here forever. No surrender. All right, dinner is on the table. We're gonna make a special plate for Benji because he comes a little bit late because of soccer. Everybody eat! Oh, wow, there's that! Oh, Dad! Alright guys, that is the end of our